Hey friends, I hope you're having a good day today. So I'm excited. Today we are going to do something that several of my subscribers have commented on some of my other videos about what they do for their pixie cut and that is using these self grip rollers. So this is a set of 31 pieces made by Conair and um, these are, I haven't even opened this package yet. So these are, as you can see, a set of self grip rollers that are supposed to grip so you don't have to use anything to fasten them in. Um, you've got a really big one, which I don't think I will use. Um, you've got kind of a medium sized one that looks a little bit over an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter. You've got the yellow one, which is about an inch in diameter. And then you've got a small one, which maybe is a half an inch in diameter. So just looking at these, my guess is I'll probably use a combination of the yellow and blue ones and um, see how this goes. My hair is pretty damp. I just took a nice bath on a Saturday morning. What I'll probably do is put some product in my hair. Um, I got actually something new um, that I'm gonna try today. And then place the rollers throughout my head. Um, probably mostly up here since I don't think I'll be able to get rollers on the shorter parts of my pixie cut. And then go ahead and blow dry it. And that's the beauty of this. Some people just air dry it, but I don't feel like walking around in curlers for an hour, so I'm gonna blow dry it afterwards. So we'll go ahead and get started. So this is the new product I got. This is um, Johnny B and it's called Fuddy. And I ordered this on Amazon. My mom actually has really fine hair and she suggested this, especially for people with fine hair, but I tried it the other day um, to see how it would go, but just for blow drying. And because I don't have fine hair, my hair, um, I don't know, it just really puffed out. I think this might be a really good product to use today with these curlers. It'll set the curl, it'll make it blow dry faster, and then we'll have a style to work with. So, um, while I work on getting this fuddy in my hair, by the way, this fuddy looks really funny. It's a strange consistency. It's like the consistency of yogurt, possibly. Um, but I'm just gonna get about about that much, maybe a tiny bit more on my hair. Um, but yeah, I've had a pretty good week. This was just um, kind of a normal week. Um, nothing major happening this week, just a did a, worked a lot, um, and it's the weekend, so. I made it to the weekend. The only big thing happening this weekend, which you, you guys will be seeing this video next weekend, but the only big thing happening this weekend is the Super Bowl. Um, we were gonna have a, like a little Super Bowl party, but because it's a late game on Sunday night, we are just gonna watch it. Just myself and my husband, we're gonna watch it in our living room. And I might make a few hors d'oeuvres or something to be festive, but really hoping they win and then my husband will be in a good mood. All right, so I've got the fuddy in my hair and I'm just gonna do a quick comb through. I also will probably use either this comb or this comb to um, start sectioning out my hair. Oh, by the way, they even have the very smallest size, which looks like even maybe a third of an inch or slightly smaller than this blue one. Okay, so I am ready to put these curlers in. I have never used one of these, so you're gonna see me doing my first try here. So the question is, which way should I put the curlers in? I'm thinking about putting them in on the side going this way. So for instance, I 
All right, so I'm gonna first uh, take my first set here. I'm gonna switch combs because that's not working that great for me. All right, let's see how well this goes. And it stayed. That's incredible. All right, we're gonna do the second one now. I'm gonna stagger the blue ones with the yellow ones. That is just amazing. It just stays. And as you know, if you have a pixie cut, there's not a lot of hair to work with here, so. Okay. Do one on this side. And we need a couple in the back. I'm going to do one back here. And I think I'm gonna use the smaller ones to make a few curls right here. What do you guys do? If you have these self-grip rollers, are you doing it like I'm doing it here? Do you just kind of throw them in and see how it comes out? What is your favorite style? Do you do them going down or going back? We're kind of getting to running out of hair at this point. So I'm going to see what else I could possibly put in a roller. I might be able to put one right here. It's pretty amazing that even if you just have a little hair to put over it, they seem to stick to your head and keep the curl in there. Maybe one more on this side. The back of my hair is really pretty short. So as you can see, there's really not quite enough hair left, but I might try just one more. So I've got my roller set in here. The next step will be to blow dry. Um, by the way, this is my Winson blow dryer. I got it off Amazon. I'll link it in the description. And it's just a pretty good blow dryer and I think it'll dry this pretty quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry these curls and see how quick this takes.
Okay, so I was blow drying for about five minutes. I think what also helps um, is that I always, when I do wash my hair or get my hair wet, um, I always do, you know, comb it and then put my makeup on and kind of let it air dry for about 10 minutes. And then I'll put product on it and style it. And it seems to definitely speed up the style. I used to do it opposite and found myself blow drying a lot more. Um, so I also, I don't know about you guys. Can you, um, just let your hair air dry? How does your hair look afterwards? Mine always looks bad. And so I end up always styling it. If I wash it, my hair that day, if I don't wash my hair that day, I usually will put some kind of product in there. Like, I don't know, either, you know, my putty that I use or I'll put in a dry shampoo and then I'll just dry style it. But um, if I style my hair, if I wash my hair, I actually have to do something with it or it'll just look awful. <laughs> I think we're ready to take these curlers out. I hope they, the curl stayed. This could be a complete disaster. We'll see what happens here. We'll try it taking one out on this side. All right, all right. There's, it's not like a tight curl, which I don't think you shouldn't use these if you're looking for tight curls unless you're using the very tiniest ones, which are this way, this small, um, less than a half an inch in diameter. So I was looking for some big, um, just loose curls, which I'm definitely getting here. And my hair is definitely dry. Oh yeah, look at that one. So we'll just keep taking these out. Some of you probably have been doing this for many, many years if you use your um, self-grip rollers to style your hair. By the way, these self-grip rollers were really cheap. I wanna say less than $10 for a package. So this is what it's looking like right now. I'll show you the back. I think I'm gonna do a quick brush through for this. My hair is definitely very voluminous. I mean, it is pretty crazy, but I think that um, it kind of did the same thing. So I think it's this Fuddy product um, that makes my hair like, whoo. My mom has longer hair, so it gives her a lot of volume when she uh, puts her hot rollers in it. Um, but it actually did make my hair dry quicker, but it did create a lot of volume here. So if you have fine hair, and you're looking for a product that can help with giving you more volume, that's a good product to use. All right, I'm gonna use this Kenra uh, Platinum Texturizing Taffy number 13. I'm gonna get about this much on there. And I'm gonna just, again, you don't worry about what it looks like too much before you, you just gotta distribute the product throughout your hair so it's gonna look crazy. Okay. Now I'm gonna just start playing with it. The goal with this is I want a lot of volume today and I didn't really have to use any heat tools other than the blow dryer to get it like this. I'd like to keep that little curl in the front if possible. Okay. Maybe bring some of these hairs forward right here. What 
what do you guys think? Are you liking this? It's a lot of volume for me, um, but I, I, I actually really like it. it. It feels more voluminous than normal, for sure. Um, we've got to take a look at the back because I'm not sure how the back looks. Let me take a look in my mirror. All right, let me show you how the back looks. And the sides. All right, well, I'm super happy with this. This was a good experiment, I think. Will I wear, use these again? Yes, I will use these again. These are great. Um, it gave me a really manicured style, but with lots of volume. Um, I think part of that was using these and part of that was using that Buddy product. I really like the amount of volume and height I've gotten on my hair. So what I have noticed over the past several months is I used to be super conservative with my hair in that I was always afraid to put any height on my hair. Um, and I've just gotten really a lot better about getting more volume in my hair. And I think it does frame your face better if you have a pixie cut, if you have a little more volume on the top. You know, this is a, a style I would definitely do again. I probably could get a similar style if I used a curling iron or um, a hot air brush or even a blow dryer with a round brush. I think it's great. It does maybe look a little bit different than those other tools, um, but it was extremely easy to do and these are cheap. So why not get another tool um, just to add to your arsenal for, for pixie cut styles? Anyway, well, thank you again for watching today. I hope you guys are having a great week and weekend and um, happy February. It's 2020 and it's already, one month is already gone. We're already close to Christmas again. Um, this year's gonna go by quick, but that's okay. Um, I am really looking forward to the spring and the summer. Um, we live by a lake and I'm excited for kayaking and just all sorts of lake activities. So um, I have, I don't know, this time of the year, it's like, okay, for those of you that um, are in winter right now, you're probably getting tired of winter. Um, I, I am getting excited for summer. Well, thank you again for watching. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to have you a subscriber. And I'll see you next week. Bye.